Dina had a stroke when she was little and it's affected the right side of her body. So all the activities that I've done today have been trying to encourage Dina to move her right arm and her hand and to do it within play activities. So we did some singing, shaking musical instruments. Um, we've done some playing with Play-Doh, so she's been rolling out the Play-Doh, cutting out shapes, squashing it with her hands. And now she's been cleaning Dolly, washing Dolly, so again squeezing sponges. We've been pouring water between cups. So all the things that children do every day um, in their everyday lives, but trying to make sure that we're using both hands together and getting as much movement and function. Ready? It means in the future that Dina will be much more able to just participate in everyday activities that, that children would do. So when she's at school, she'll be able to use her hand better. Um, and as she grows up, she's being able to do things for herself. So getting herself dressed, eating and drinking, just activities that we all do every day. Can we pull it apart? Ready? Dean has made a lot of progress. Um, she can now sort of lift her arm from the shoulder and she's started to get some movement from the elbow as well. So she brings it towards her and takes it away. Um, the hand, she finds a bit more difficult to open and close, but she's starting to use it more and just involve it in activities. So it is a challenge. She's sometimes reluctant to, to use that arm, but if you use activities that you know Dina really enjoys, like playing with dollies, <laughs> Um, and doing bubbles then, um, and playing with bubbles and things like that. If you use play activities that children enjoy doing, then you're much more able to get more out of them. It's really satisfying. Um, it, it makes you feel really proud of kind of what you do and the impact you can have on, on somebody's life, really. And um, it's a real pleasure. If you, a friend or a relative, has had a stroke, you may experience the loss of movement down one side of your body, preventing you from carrying out everyday tasks or continuing with a hobby. An occupational therapist can help people who've had a stroke to regain some movement. Furthermore, they can provide training in doing things differently and, if needed, recommend adaptations to the home to enable people to carry on leading an independent life. If you think that you, a relative or a friend, may be experiencing difficulties in doing the things that you need or want to do and are not getting the most from life, you might benefit from seeing an occupational therapist. To find an occupational therapist, more information is on our website www.cot.org.uk Occupational therapy, helping people to live life their way.